Deeper debt, bigger deficits and a lost AAA credit rating headlined this year's state budget. The Treasurer has taken the axe to some of Labor's big ticket rail projects and plans tax cuts as he struggles to keep his books in check. But Jack Snelling has found some extra money for people with disabilities. State political reporter Nick Harmson has more. From family man to fighter. The Treasurer sweated out a morning gym session before delivering his budget blows. This is a good way to start the day, uh, just to let some, uh, get rid of some frustrations. And there were plenty. The knockout punch, the state's much vaunted AAA credit rating, downgraded to AA+. Some big promises have been wiped out too. Electrification of the Gawler and Outer Harbour rail lines, tram extensions to the port, Semaphore and West Lakes are all gone. The centrepiece of Kevin Foley's 2008 budget effectively cancelled. Not that the government will say so. Well, look, I wouldn't characterise that way. It's what I'm saying it is, and that is it's suspended pending a recovery in our revenues. Many other big ticket items were spared, but hospital redevelopments at Modbury and the QEH have been pushed back. The focus for new spending is the disability sector. Today, this Labor government is sending a message that people with disabilities will not be left behind. Some planned tax cuts will be. Cancelling a payroll tax exemption will save $120 million, scrapping stamp duty relief an even larger sum. The public service will feel some pain, a further 1% will be wiped from agency budgets and a thousand extra jobs will go. But 400 new positions will be created and there's a big bonus for long-serving public servants, up to four days extra leave which can be cashed in. That'll help Jack Snelling dodge union blows. I'm pleased that government has now recognised skilled and experienced staff with a retention allowance. As the ABC revealed last night, there'll be deeper deficits approaching a billion dollars for each of the next two years. The return to surplus is delayed as the government continues to borrow more than a billion dollars each year. Budget sector debt will peak at almost $9 billion when the new hospital is built, resulting in annual interest bills of half a billion dollars. This government has just delivered the biggest deficit that this state has ever seen and the biggest debt that this state has ever seen. Most fees and charges will rise by 3.3%, pushing up a bus ticket by 20 cents. Compulsory third-party premiums on a family car will rise $23. Nick Harmson, ABC News, Adelaide.